I'm Dr. Marianne Birch. I'm the founder and president of Birch Bark Foundation, and I wanted to share some of the history and goals and beauties of the foundation with, um, with you guys and let you know where we are and what we're doing. So Birch Bark Foundation is a dream that I actually thought about soon after becoming a veterinarian and seeing people whose pets had fixable problems and where finances became an issue in whether fixing those pets was a, a possibility. And I thought about it for many years. Uh, one of the things I think about the world is that you're given a skill set uh, and the beauty of that is you can choose to use that skill set for whatever arises as an opportunity in the world and uh, being a dedicated and uh, I guess I work hard as a veterinarian. I love what I do. I love being able to help people and their pets. And so I tried to think of a way that I could expand that skill set into a community benefit and helping people who might be in trouble with their pets. So I thought about it for a little over a decade. Um, in 2010, one of my clients from the Pebble Beach area asked me, what people do when they don't have the resources to fix their pets and outside of beg, borrow and steal or work for free, uh, I came up with uh, the idea of uh, this foundation that I had contemplated for years and would uh, it was time for me to do something about that. And she actually gave a generous initial startup gift to get the idea rolling. So I spent a year to a year and a half doing research and development and talking to a lot of other nonprofit organizations and also animal rescue organizations in the area, making sure that Birch Bark would be something that complemented rather than duplicated what's out there already for the pets in our community. So in 2012, basically, we spent some time coming up with the idea and working with the veterinarians in the community because I wanted it to be something where all of us veterinarians who are often faced with this dilemma of not having enough money to treat the animals that can be fixed and seeing that amazing bond between people and their pets that is going to be broken because of a financial need. I wanted to be able to have everyone in the community have this resource to tap into.